Hello, I'm Sudan Taigai, and I'm here to talk to you today about the STG Sound Labs Wave Folder. The Wave Folder is a diode based wave shaping device, which, to translate it for people like me, is a fancy distortion. I'd love to go in depth about its theory of operation to you, um, but I'm incapable of being that elegant or graceful. So instead, I'm going to show you some pretty pictures on this oscilloscope here um, and uh, talk to you a little about what I'm doing uh, as you see it. Now, I'm going to start the sequencer right here. Okay. Now, first thing I'm going to do, you're seeing, you're seeing a dot-com synthesizers.com Q106 oscillator. It's at the eight foot stop and frequency of zero. There's, there's no voltage going into it. So we're basically just hearing the C here drone on. And we're gonna stay on this note for the whole demo. Um, and that way, you know, you'll, you'll be able to like look at the shape without the shape like changing size and whatnot. <clears throat> so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the gain up. It's at zero right now on the calibration. Now I'm gonna move it up to one. Okay, see the sound has got a bit brighter. And this is at two. Three. Four. Five. Six, and we'll just crank it all the way up to 10. Okay, see, okay. Now that's pretty bright. Now, now what we're going to do is we're going to adjust the input offset, which adds a direct current to the uh, to the signal, which will bias the signal up or down before it hits the wave shaping process. Now, we just added five volts. Now we're going to move back down and back at zero. And now we've added negative five. Okay, so now the next control is called fold mixture. And now this actually, this is part of a feedback circuit in the wave shaping itself. And I'm going to start the feedback. And now it's, oh, that's wild. That's very wild. You know, actually, we could. Okay, it's probably better. And that's all the way at uh, 100%. Now, that knob cannot be controlled uh, via voltage, but the other two controls can. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to take a low-frequency oscillator. Actually crank this we're now we're now back to we're back to a gain of zero and now I'm going to feed okay now I got a little bit of gain going here okay Now the gain is being modulated by another oscillator. That's quickly I'm turning it down. Up a, a bit more. Now, now I'm going to take the same LFO and I'm going to feed it into the offset input. And you'll see pulse width modulation, dis pulse width modulation style modulation of the distortion. Isn't that sentence a mouthful? Okay. 
Now, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn up the fold mixture control a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to take an envelope generator and I'm going to apply it to the gain control. I was just moving the fold mixture a little bit. And that's what the gain turned all the way down and a full modulation of the gain by the envelope generator. The uh, currently the input gain is at one, and my attenuator is at three on that uh, envelope generator. Fold mixture is at fifty percent. Now, if you modulate the gain with extremely high frequency, you can draw some really pretty pictures on the oscilloscope, like. Like this right here. This is a really nice picture. I like this one a lot. And then by adjusting the fold mixture, you can make a, oh, isn't that interesting? Not sure how musically useful it is, but yeah, those are some really interesting pictures. Yeah. Now we have uh, we're mixing two audio rate oscillators uh, through the signal input and the offset input. And the difference between these two inputs, they go to the same place, but the offset input is DC coupled, uh, so it can be modulated by uh, an LFO or an envelope generator or a static uh, voltage source, and the uh, the signal input is AC coupled, so to prevent any um, stray DC leakage. Also, the output of the module is AC coupled as well. So, anyway, um, that's the uh, that's the wave folder, um, and uh, I'm going to turn off the camera now. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.